Right, well, get underway. Um, hello. Um, I'm trying this new beer so that um, when I look that way, I look at the slides, the same as you. And when I look down at the chat, it's down there and underneath. So we'll see how this goes. Um, okay, so this evening, morning, lunchtime for you in Norway, um, I'm going to be talking about the next thing on your list of interesting topics was multi-threading. Uh, and it's sort of the, the introduction to this area. Um, we can dig into details, particularly if you're if you're very keen to know more about multi-threading, uh, particularly multi-threading um, in your own projects. But I thought I might start with a, an overview and talk about a little bit about how Unity um, does multi-threading, because there's more of you doing Unity, <coughs> and a little bit about C++ and, and Unreal. So um, hopefully you've uh, got me there. I'm just going to see if I can start streaming this for some reason it seems to think that i just want to stream a pink screen okay um for some reason it stinks thinks steam vr is the most important thing in the world for it to run and won't let me run other things Hmm. Now it won't let me do anything at all. Now let me choose. For some reason, when Steam VR is on, Discord goes, Oh, you want to stream your VR play? Right, let's do that. And you only do that. Um, so it appears that there is some issues with that. Um, let's figure out that. Ah, there we go. Now, at least you're getting some of my screen. Okay. Um, go back. I've got, oh, I've got a few on you on Discord. Hello, people on Discord. Uh, and we have some of you on Twitch. So, hello, people on Twitch. So, how, I like, do I wave? How do I wave down? <laughs> Not sure how I wave down to the people below me. Um, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about multi three. Now, hopefully some of you have done some um, courses, particularly in operating systems, where you've done some multi-threading before. So one of the things that, that um, you learn about in multi-threading is that timing is really important. Uh, and... Multi-threading is of, often more complex than normal programming, and so you want to have a good justification for why you are multi-threading things, um, rather than just say, well, you know, hey, I want my program to run faster. Um, you have to know where your program is running slowly to be able to justify the cost of adding multi-threading. So, um, now, I was teaching a full multi-threading course uh, in Yervik, uh, and we covered a lot of topics in there. I'll try and briefly brush over some of these, um, and we can come back to some of them uh, in later lectures. Hola. Um, so, when we're looking at at um, the the benefits and costs of multi-threading, there are some some big concepts that you can think about. We've got threads, right now. A thread is what we would call, basically call a process. It's a lightweight process. Um, so when you've got a, a, a multi-core CPU, it will often have, say, four cores and eight threads. And so a thread is a sequence of execution that runs on a core. Um, and that's if you've got more threads than you have cores, then you've got a hyper-threaded machine. Uh, and most of the laptops and most cores now actually, and most um, CPUs have more threads than they have cores because of the way the hardware is, um, is implemented. Now, C++ have heavyweight threads. If you've done operating system courses, you will have had operating system threads. And these are where you can, you can start up an executable, basically another executable, and have them run and um, they will be executing the background and doing operations. And you can see them like sharing time on the CPU. 
there are a bunch of design patterns, there's some threading samples, and we're going to go a wee bit of, of the Unity stuff for that. Uh, there is, oh, pardon me, um, function pointers. Now, I'm not going to go in this lecture into, um, oh, you're having playback issues. Hmm, I wonder if that's a, ooh, it's going red on my right. Um, hmm. Right, I will just try some stuff, okay? So I'll just pause the, the thread and I'll, I'll kill a bunch of things. Um, so I'll close all the, the Unity engine, I'll close down some of my programs, um, and we'll see if it's a... Um, I'll see if it's a networking issue that I've got at my end. Uh, it does appear that I'm running... that it's having some issue with my network. Um, Um, let's see, what else can I do? Uh, right. I will try. <coughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to take a a moment and um, uh, get better internet. Right, okay. So let's Yellow and orange is better than red, but red is dropping to zero, that's not good. Come on. <laughs> So this was, I was um, doing some editing of, of uh, networking playing, and um, so we're doing, uh, for the 3D class in New Zealand, I was doing uh, the um, multiplayer environment in uh, Unreal, and so we were going through the multiplayer tutorial, so that, that's why I had that up. Um, it is still recording, so at least the video will be okay once I upload it properly. Um, but 
I seem to be having some internet issues. Um, as you can see, if you can't, it's it's it was giving me pretty bad upload speeds. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. Okay, I'll try one more thing. I know I'm 10 minutes in, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this, but I'll try one more thing to try and give you guys some good internet. Hmm. Okay. Well, what I'll do is I shall try one more thing of restarting stuff and then we'll see how we go. Okay, so I'll be back in a second. 